So in this video, I show you how to make two paths with this 3D model STL. First, we open Aspire and we create a new file. We set the drop size exactly to the material we have. And here I set the Z zero position to the top surface. Okay. Then we'll do model import component 3D model. When we find this STL, we press open. First, we make it to the center. And then we rotate it 90 degree. As here shows, the whole model has a height of 628 millimeter. And uh, we have a ma the material of 200 millimeter thick, so we don't need the bottom part of this. So we will move them below the zero plane, so they won't be calculated. So here we can use this. So as long as this number is less than your material thickness is OK. I press OK here. So we got this. And then in the two paths, I'll pin it and uh, first we need to make a 3D roughing two paths. And OK. We will select a removing tool. Here we'll copy this end mail. We'll make the meter to 12. Apply, and we'll select this. And here we'll use the material boundaries. So it's this rectangle here. Then we'll calculate. And we can preview to see the simulation.
So this is what will be after the roughing job. It cuts the main shape and leaves the steps. And then we'll use another tool to finish it and make it more exactly to the 3D model we want. Okay, here we just close and we choose the 3D finishing tool path. And we'll select an engraving tool. We'll use a 6 millimeter half angle is 15 and the flat diameter on the top will be 0 0.4 in total so it's 0 0.2 in half okay with that almost like this and we select and here we'll use the raster and uh, when you do this you'd better set here uh, an angle such as 15 or 20 but that will take more time for calculating so here I just leave it as 0 and I calculate, calculate and this progress will take a very very long time it may be more than half an hour or even one hour so we just wait Seems this progress eats a lot of system memory. Well, I just think my 32 gigabytes is not enough. So finally it's down here. You can also preview all the two paths. So this is more better after the finishing. We can save the file. Here we close and then we select all the two paths and we save two paths. Here shows the end mill is T1 and this engraving is T3. So you need to prepare these two cutting bits in your ATC carousel, the two stock. Then we save. Here we should choose a post processor. I just use the syntax arc ATC is okay. I save and I can save. Now you can try run this file on your CNC machine.